So if you're someone that's trying to figure out exactly what works and what doesn't work when it comes to making money online, and you also want to be in a position where you can earn up to $100 every single day, you've definitely clicked on the right video because I'm going to be taking you guys through seven different ways that I've personally been able to make up to $100 every day, even as high as $1,000, $3,000, $5,000 in a single day. Not only am I gonna be taking you guys through these seven different methods that you can get started with ASAP, but I'm also gonna be touching on exactly how you're gonna be able to get started with each of these different side hustles or online businesses in the best possible way as well. So make sure that you stick around for this entire video from start to finish because you're definitely going to learn something that's going to change your financial situation. All right, so jumping straight into one of the first methods that I personally used when it came to being able to quit my full-time job and make $100 per day, $1,000 per day, so on and so forth, which was selling on eBay. So initially when I first got started, I was selling things from around the house and because of that, I was able to build up enough capital where I was going to now use that money to invest into actual inventory that I was going to be able to continuously keep buying over and over again. Now, most people believe that selling on eBay is dead and it doesn't work when that isn't true. As long as you're able to figure out exactly what people are searching for, because you have to remember eBay is a search engine. Millions of people go onto ebay.com, ebay.co.uk, the French eBay, German one, Australian one, whatever it is, every single week. And all of those customers are typing in specific products that they want to buy. So if you're able to figure out what people are searching for, what people are spending money on, and you're able to sell those exact same products, then of course, you're gonna be in a position where you're gonna be able to make a lot more than $100 per day. So that's exactly what I did. I made sure to do the right research, using the right product research tools to find the best winning products to sell, then what I'll do is go over to a website like alibaba.com, find a supplier that was gonna be able to source me with quality products on a consistent basis. And then I imported the products, listed them on my eBay store, made sure to brand my store around those products that I was selling. And then from that point, it was just a simple case of rinse and repeating the entire process. So for anyone out there that is thinking about selling on eBay, again, just make sure that you find a product that people are searching for, they're spending money on. You also know that there's other eBay sellers making money from those products. And your main job is to build a brand that customers are gonna be able to trust whenever they come across your listings, because as long as you've made sure to brand yourself as an expert, they're gonna be more likely to buy from you rather than someone else. But this now brings me on to one of the second ways that I've been able to make over $100 every single day, and I'm sure that you guys can do it too, as long as you take the right steps, which is by building blog websites. So over the years, I've had a couple different blog websites that I've been managing and I've been operating, and I like them for so many different reasons. One of the first reasons is that you're gonna be able to run them from anywhere around the world. Whether I'm in London, whether I'm in Dubai, whether I'm somewhere in Europe on the beach, I'm still gonna be able to make sure that my blogs are running as they should. And similar with an eBay business, this is another type of online business that a lot of people think is dead when that isn't true as well. You have to remember that Google is the most visited website in the entire world. And one of the main reasons why people go onto Google is to search for information and to get specific answers. And the answers that they're normally going to get in the Google search results are going to be from various different blogs. So building blog websites is still a viable way to make money. And it's something that I'm doing myself right now as we speak, because as you can see over here, this is one of my blog websites that I'm sure that most of you have already seen if you've been following me for any amount of time that could be found at successwithbusiness.com. This website is super simple. All I'm doing is making sure to publish information articles on how people can be successful with an online business and make money online. So for example, if I click on the blog tab over here, these are the different types of articles that me and my team are publishing. You know, things like 10 things that you need to know about moving to Dubai because I recently did that how to make money online with an email newsletter, how to make PayPal money online, just various different articles that I know is going to help people that come across all of these different blogs that we're publishing. But in addition to being able to run websites like this from anywhere around the world, 
Another benefit is that you've got multiple different options when it comes to earning a source of income or multiple sources of income from sites just like this. Whether you wanna promote someone else's product, whether you wanna promote your own products, whether you want to maybe charge companies for sponsorships for you to mention them in your articles, there's at least four, five, six, seven different ways that you're gonna be able to generate an income from a simple website just like this. But I would say that one of the most common ways that people probably make money from sites like this is with Google AdSense, which brings me on to the third way that you're gonna be able to make up to $100 every day as a beginner. Now, for those of you that don't really understand how Google AdSense works, what is it, and how you're gonna be able to make money from it, it's quite simple. It's basically a program that Google created as a way to pay back the creators that are publishing content on their platforms. And the two main beginner friendly platforms that you can use when it comes to being able to earn Google AdSense is either gonna be with a YouTube channel or by building a blog website just like this. Now, I definitely think that Google AdSense can be a great way for any beginner out there to earn a source of income. I enjoy earning Google AdSense payments because it's quite passive. Once you've put the content out there, you don't necessarily need to sell anything to anyone. You don't need to do anything really. As long as you're publishing high quality articles and you're publishing high quality videos, even if you've made that piece of content four years ago, five years ago, six years ago, you're gonna be able to continuously keep earning from it. I would say the main thing that you need to make sure that you do if you are going to try and earn Google AdSense payments is to focus on a specific content type that number one, you enjoy making, because if you don't enjoy making it, then you're gonna end up giving up, which means that you're not gonna be able to earn anything. The second thing that you need to make sure that you do is make sure that the content type is also popular. The reason why I'm publishing articles like this on my website about online business, you know, how to live the life of your dreams is because I'm passionate about it and I know that many other people out there are also interested in it as well. And if you're able to remember this and do it consistently before you know it, you're gonna get to $100, $200, $500, $1,000 every single day. But this now brings me on to one of the next ways that I've been able to successfully earn over $100 per day, which is by selling stuff on Amazon. Now, when it comes to building an Amazon business, a lot of people are confused about this and it can be a little bit confusing, but that's why it's very important to do the right research so that you know exactly which option is best for you. Like for example, when it comes to signing up for an Amazon account, you can either sign up as an individual or what you can do is sign up for a professional account. Each different one has its own pros and cons, it's different fees. So you need to make sure that you read up on which one is suitable for you depending on how much items you anticipate that you're gonna sell when you first get started. You also need to consider whether you wanna do Amazon FBA, which is fulfilled by Amazon, or Amazon FBM, which is fulfilled by Merchant. With Amazon FBA, the way that this works is that you're going to buy products in bulk, whether you're going to buy it from China, whether you're gonna buy it from a local supplier, and then from there, you're going to ship it to an Amazon warehouse. And whenever you make a sale, Amazon are gonna take care of all of the fulfillments. So you're not gonna to have to pick, pack, and ship out the orders every single day. And of course, this is gonna come with some sort of a fee when it comes to storage fees, so on and so forth. However, on the other hand, when it comes to Amazon FBM, the way that this works is that you're gonna be responsible for making sure that the orders are shipped out every day, you're gonna to have to go to the post office. And you also need to consider whether you want to create a brand new Amazon listing, or if you want to list a product under a listing that's already there. So these are some of the things that you're going to need to consider. But in addition to all of that, you're also going to need to decide on what product is best for you to sell. Now I'm gonna quickly show you exactly how you can find winning products on Amazon using a very simple method. Now with this, you are going to need the Helium 10 Google Chrome extension tool. So if you wanna sign up to Helium 10, I've got a link in my description down below, but I'm just gonna type in a group of products that I'm happy to sell myself. For example, I might just type in pet just like that. And then from here, it's gonna bring up all of these different products. Now for me to figure out which one is the best one to sell, if I just come over to the Helium 10 Google Chrome extension tool, click on this option. First and foremost, I can see that the pet niche is doing really well. Over $7 million has been spent on pet related items in the last 30 days. But if I want to find an item that I'm gonna be able to sell successfully, if I just come over to the review count 
column over here and then sort it from low to high, it's gonna be able to show me products that have a low review count, but yet they've been able to generate a decent amount of income. So for example, there's this one over here where they've been able to generate over $400,000 in the last month, but yet they've only got around 94 reviews. So if I just click into this product, it's basically a dog GPS. So this is an indication that maybe dog GPSs are doing well on Amazon right now. And from this point, I'm gonna be able to do a little bit more research, find one that's gonna be easy for me to sell myself on Amazon. And then from there, I can create an Amazon account and start selling it. But this now brings me on to the next method that you're gonna be able to use when it comes to making $100 per day fairly quick using the internet, which is by selling digital products. Now with most people, when they first hear that they can sell a digital product, they feel like they need to have some advanced knowledge and they need to be a genius or they need to have some sort of unique knowledge that no one else has when that isn't really true. As long as you've got specific knowledge in a certain area of that, you're gonna be able to package and sell to someone that wants to learn that knowledge. You're gonna be able to, of course, make an income. And it could be about anything. As long as you know that you're able to package your knowledge in a certain way that's going to benefit someone else, then it's gonna be a win-win for everyone involved. And you don't even need to have a big audience when it comes to selling your digital product because as long as you're using the right platform, you're gonna be able to position your digital product in front of someone that wants to buy it. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So at the moment, I've got various different digital products that I'm selling on the internet in various different ways, whether it's online courses, eBooks, spreadsheets, PDFs, whatever it is. But if I just jump onto Google just like this and then type in this search term, which is step-by-step -step guide to selling on eBay course and then click on search. If I just scroll down slightly on the first page, you're gonna be able to see this website over here that when someone clicks into it, it's gonna lead them back to this digital product that I put a lot of time into when it came to making sure that it was perfect. All of the knowledge that I've been able to acquire over the years of selling on eBay, I've put it into this step-by-step -step guide so that anyone that also wants to replicate the steps that I talk, they're gonna be able to do the exact same thing. So again, as long as you've got knowledge in a specific area that you know other people are interested in, they're searching for it on Google, you're gonna be able to use a platform like Teachable, which is the one that I use when it comes to hosting whatever digital product that you wanna sell, PDF, ebook, online course, community, whatever it is. And speaking of Google, this now brings me on to the next method that I'm gonna talk about, which is by selling products, utilizing the power of Google Shopping. Now, let me give you a quick breakdown of exactly how this works. Now, what you're gonna do is build a Shopify store and load it with winning products. From there, what you're going to do is list your store on the Google Shopping homepage. From there, customers are gonna come into your store, pick whatever items they wanna buy. Once they buy the items, you're of course going to receive the money and then from there, you're going to ship the product out to the customer. So in theory, it's quite a simple way of being able to start a business because you can use the dropshipping business model if that's what you wanna do because you don't wanna spend money on inventory and you're gonna be able to scale your store as soon as you find a winning product. But let me just jump onto Google Shopping and show you someone that's actively doing this right now as we speak. So what's gonna happen is that the potential customer is gonna come onto Google Shopping just like this. They're gonna type in whatever item they're looking for. So I'm gonna stick with the one that we found on Amazon, which is Dog GPS, and then click on search. From here, all of these different types of Dog GPS items are gonna pop up and of course the potential customer is gonna scroll through and find whichever model, whichever design that they wanna buy. But there's this one over here that I just want to focus on. As you can see, the seller's selling it for around $10 and I'm sure that they're definitely drop shipping it because if we go over to a site like AliExpress, we're gonna be able to find the exact same dog GPS if I just click into this listing. It's the exact same one that's available on AliExpress for around 49 cents. So the amount of profit that this person is potentially making by drop shipping this product from websites like AliExpress is pretty decent, especially if they're able to generate a decent amount of sales on a consistent basis. And of course, this was just an example, just to illustrate the point, I wouldn't recommend selling an item for around $10. I would advise selling a product 
for around 30, 40, 50, maybe $60 because that way your profit margin is going to be a lot higher. So you're not necessarily going to have to sell 100 units just for you to make the profit of $100 per day. But I've got more videos coming out on this particular topic showing you exactly how you can utilize the power of Google Shopping. So make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell notification down below so that you don't miss the future videos. And this now brings me on to the final way that you guys are going to be able to make over $100 every day, which is by starting an affiliate marketing business. Now, one of the strategies that I personally like to use when it comes to all of the different affiliate marketing businesses that I'm running is called search-based affiliate marketing. And this is basically where you're going to position your affiliate links in front of someone that's actively searching for information about that particular product or service. If you're able to sign up to an affiliate program that you know is going to pay you a decent commission, and you're also able to put your unique affiliate link in front of someone that is looking for information about that product, your chances of being able to earn a conversion is really, really high. This is a strategy that I personally use for me to get to $100 per day and from there be able to generate over $100,000 in pure profit. Now, there's an entire step-by-step -step process that goes into this, and I'm not going to be able to go through it in today's video. So if you wanted to sign up to a completely free webinar, in this webinar, I'm gonna be going through all of my tips, tricks, strategies that I wish someone sat me down and told me when I first got started because it would have allowed me to speed up my progress and allowed me to reach my goals a lot sooner. So if you wanna sign up to this free webinar, you're gonna be able to do that by clicking the first link in the description down below. And if you also wanna watch another YouTube video that I made recently, where I go through some other things that you need to know as a beginner when it comes to starting an online business, this video, I've gotten a lot of good feedback from it. So I'm sure if you watch it, it's also going to benefit you as well. So just make sure that you click the link over there, check that out straight after this one, and I'll catch you guys over there. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.